All right, guys, so we're out here, another Tuesday uh, breaking par special edition match play. This here, if you don't know already, is Mr. JT Barker. Now, to give you a little backstory, JT probably 10 years ago mm -hmm. was the first like good golfer that I coached. I'd been coaching a little bit. JT was the first golfer who came, he was like a good golfer that I started to coach. So low key, like kind of uh, got my coaching business to go this way after him. So in a little bit of a debt of gratitude, we figured we'd bring him on the channel today to uh, say thank you. No, we, we looked at JT's swing maybe a week or two ago yeah. for the first time in a while. So we're gonna come play. We're gonna do a little um, match play. I guess we'll just do match play, not stroke play, match play. Match is fun. Out here at uh, beautiful Osprey Point, we're on the Raven 9. My friend Chris is in the back too. He may or may not be in the background, don't mind him. Mary's behind the camera and let's, uh, let's get it started, huh? Let's go. Cool. Yeah, it should be oh, perfect. That's a beauty. Yeah, that should be good. Uh, it's a little touch left. Oh, that's that should be fine. I think it should be okay. All right, this is two iron or driver hole. I think yesterday we probably did two iron, two iron, but we're gonna go driver here. Kind of let it go up the right a little bit. At that uh, left stadium pole, a little cut shot. Perfect. I think that should be good as long as it's not too far. All right, so JT and I are kind of on the same line. We'll see. All right, first hole, first tee shot, like normal if you guys have been watching. Never getting fancy in the beginning. First couple holes, just hit it solid. Get out, get on the course, get in play. JT and I probably both hit about 10 yards left of our lines there. It's 300 to the edge. I think we'll be right on the, uh, the edge there. JT's a good player. Like I mentioned, he was like the first good golfer I worked with. And if you know golf coaching, once you have one good player, other good players tend to uh, flock towards that coach, uh, especially if they play well. And JT was gonna play well no matter what, right? So um, good player, he's typically shooting, you know, around par, a couple under, a couple over like me. So hopefully today we have a nice uh, competitive match, give you guys a little bit of a different look uh, compared to normal, you guys enjoy it. 242 pin, little downwind. Mm. Kind of, we're gonna be like straight downwind. I gotta actually, uh, I actually got a tree in my way. So I could go, I could probably, I could probably hook a draw, hit a draw four iron over the top right of that. I got a pretty bare lie. Yeah. So I'm gonna try and draw a big four iron, I believe. I could hit a two iron and fade it with the wind. Cause it actually opens up there to the left a little bit. Look at you, look at, look at, this, look at this lane you got here. I know, I'm chilling. Holy shit. <laughs> In the right, hazard. So JT's got a perfect shot. I'm gonna pump a. Don't don't say two iron. I'm gonna. I'm thinking. I'm thinking a little play <laughs> too. Don't say. There's some room over there. Downwind off the right. I have a very tight lie, but I could. I think I could hook a four iron up there. So we're gonna yeah. go with the hook four iron against the wind. Could be good. Beautiful shot. A little short left, maybe? Beautiful shot. All right, that's fine. Fine. Yeah, it should be just short right. Safe, kind good of enough. Empty. You know what Eric would have said to me if the rolls were reversed and I wanted to hit, like when I was 17, try to slice a four iron or a two iron? He's gotta listen to it. Like, said, yeah, he would have said, you're an idiot. Sit. 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 That's a good spot to miss. All right, so we're gonna try and throw this up a little bit higher than normal. Let the club head kind of pass my hands on the way down. Try and lay it just on, keep it pretty soft. I think inside eight feet past the hole here is pretty good. Pretty crafty shot there. A little too long, huh? Yeah, kind of. it was a little lower than I wanted to come out. I wanted to go a little bit higher than that. First putt of the day, roll it online, scare the hole. Oh yeah. All right. Nice one. Thanks. Yeah, you know, like, when possible, birdie on the first hole solid there, we'll take that. Here comes JT. Most players will miss this on the low side. Roll about two feet on the low side. 
Oh, you got it. That was a good putt, dude. Thanks. It broke right across the face. Like, yikes. That was a good roll. <laughs> it's all right. No harm, no foul. One down. That putt he hit was tough, huh? Right, it broke right across the face. See, most amateur golfers there, that ball goes misses low by like a couple inches. JT's more advanced. He played the ball high enough and slow enough. Die in pace. Big, big breakers like that, more die in pace. You know, that's the objective. Quick tip. All right, so hole number two, 174, pins back right. We're into the wind. JT, if you were playing, what would you, how much would you add on with the wind? I mean, like 180? 10 yards, yeah. 183? But then if the wind dies down, you wouldn't want to. We don't want to go it over the green, you no. know. I think it, I think if you play this 180, yeah. As long as you, you know, it hurts it a little bit. Yeah. That's still fine. There's there's things short. I'll go first. Okay. So this is I'm gonna hit a seven. I hit my seven iron 183. So I think it's just a full seven iron yeah. for me. So I'm gonna kind of aim at the pin here. The pin's back right. I normally hit a little draw. So I'm gonna assume this is gonna draw maybe 20 feet left of the pin and be slightly short. And I'm just gonna hope that JT doesn't hit it to like two feet. It's kind of my play here. It's definitely into, right? It's definitely into. Like, yeah, yeah into from the right. It doesn't feel like it on this tee, but. It's definitely up there. I'm gonna go 180, confident. So 180, I'm gonna play at 187 iron right at the pin. I think it's gotta go. That caught a lot of go. wind. Yeah, really good. Ooh. Might be good. Right. I, I pushed it a little to the right. I think it's going to be a little bit short, but the direction was good. So we'll see. We'll see on the bounce. This is your first time out. <laughs> Guy's been golfing for 10 years. Here we go. Regroup. Five iron. Oh, he flared it a little. He's trying a little swing change. He's a little uncomfortable. All right. A little to the right. Chipping a putt there. Not bad. Yep. All right. So also another little note on JT here. Not an excuse guy. He did drive three hours today with minimal warm up. So we'll give him a couple holes to, uh, to warm up. But that's what I was hoping. I wanted to catch him after a three hour drive while I'm making a swing change with him. So he's a little uncomfortable. It's like exactly uh, when I want to play a match against him. Little downhill slope. Let's see the touch here. Good contact. Good landing spot. That's pretty well done there, dude. Nice shot. Nice. Good shot, bud. We probably have maybe 13, 15 feet here. A little uphill right to left. I, I'm playing this the same line as the last hole. So I'm gonna try and paint that same visual. JT's got maybe five feet for par. So I'm gonna try and hit the same putt I hit. I think it's gonna just a little less break than the last hole. So same thing, started on line, scare the hole. Mm. Stayed out a little. Ball didn't break at all. It's slightly too hard, but it's okay. Are, See we, give, JT... are we giving putts here? That's good. Yeah, we can give putts. Come on. <laughs> all right. Yeah. So a little, little bit of a, little bit of a misread there. Yeah. So you, you forget where like some of those you like. Sometimes if I don't know and I look from behind the hole, and then it like changes what I thought, yeah. and then I mess up because I changed it. Yeah. It's like oh, I should just let my first cut read. I only read low side. Oh, oh nice putt. Good putt, dude. All right, JT, five feet for par for the tie. It's probably a right edge putt. Oh, Ooh, I curved a little bit more than that. Uh, dude, than they're breaking a lot today, huh? All right. JT's uh, making it a little here. easy on me. Two up through two. Hole number three. 380 yard par four, little into the wind. Green straight up to the left. There's a ton of room to miss right. If you want to get more aggressive, you can kind of go where, over this mound here to the left and have like a little flip wedge in. That is beautiful. Ugh. Might have murdered that man. Four. Guy's coming backwards. JT just murdered a man. All right, I'm going to take the same line JT took uh, right about that same line. That will work. Yep, that should be fine. Now this is the hole I've been missing short, right? 
and we're into the wind, 103. Pins up, then there's a little ridge past the pin, 99. So it's almost like if you throw it past the pin here and spin it back, I'm trying to go back uphill to the pin, so I don't think it's gonna spin back as much. Having said that, I have missed this shore just about every single time, so 100 yards. So I think I'm gonna play it like 110 and just hit and kind of let it go into the breeze a little bit to hold it up. I could play a little wedge shot here, like a take more club and play it lower. That's probably what I would suggest most people do. But a full 56 for me is 110, and I think just if that floats in the wind a little bit, it's perfect. So I'm gonna just hit that. This is one of those like, uh, if I pull it off, I'll be happy about it. But if this like comes up short, I'd be like, oh, you should have taken, you know, taken more club. Play at 110. I think I'm gonna try fly it like 10 feet past the pin. That's gonna be the goal here. So this should just kind of be like a smooth, almost full 50, 60 degree sandwich. I'm gonna aim at the, um, I got an object in the back, a bush just to the right. Ball's a little bit above my feet, so maybe just a little bit of a draw spin. Pretty much a full 56. Yeah, a little bit long down the ridge. Pretty much what I wanted to do, just a little bit, a little bit long. I probably have 15 feet back up the hill. Not like, not bad, nothing to write home about. My wet, I gotta get my wedges better. 18, nice low flight, it's gotta get down. Sit. The old the anchor. Button. Not his best. All right. You know, these like, if you looked at me and like a plus handicap or someone who plays on tour, it's those 100, those 90, those 80, 70, like they would hit the ball closer to the hole on average than I have been, and they would convert these a little more. So I'd probably hit that, I don't know, was that 12, 13 feet? So from 100 yards, that's not terrible. But now you gotta see it going. That actually wasn't bad, that stopped pretty quick. Still don't have a ball marker. JT do not have a ball marker either. I don't have one. See, you see how, see how it slopes here? Yeah. So I, I, that's why like, I knew my ball wasn't gonna spin back up to the hole. It's kind of a tough landing area. Yeah, because you land a short, it spins it back. It spins back, and if you're past the pin, it's, it's spinning back up a very unique, uh, kind of setting, because I think my ball hit right here. No, right here. Right there? Okay, it did so spin you spun back. it, you ripped it. it All just... right, never mind, that's, that did spin back, my bad. You that's shot. not yours? No, I was. With the 30 feet of side spin? Yeah, I'm right here. <laughs> <laughs> Is that okay with a T right on it? Yeah. We're both putting quite a bit uphill, so very easy to leave these putts short. Yeah, good putt, good par, that's good, dude. Thanks. So not, not a great second shot for JT, but good putt, still make a par. This should swing quite a bit left early, and then I think not as much. So it's still a little bit outside the right. Kind of want to match speed and line here. A little bit uphill, easy to leave this one short. So again, we want to make sure we scare the hole. This is picking a line and committing to it. I kind of, I got a line maybe four inches outside the right. I don't think it needs more than that. Oh. There we go, right in the middle. All right. All right, three up through T, three. So this, this is like 430, but for us, the, it, the trouble juts out at driver distance. Yeah. So I normally hit a two iron, like 250, and just have like a, 987 iron in. So you're saying I need to hit driver then if it's 250. I think for you, maybe a club you could hit like 250. I mean, okay. if you feel good about your driver, you can pump no, it down. I'll, it's I'll take 250. This is like a 435 yard par four. We have wind with us, which is nice. So we honestly probably a nine or a two iron off the tee, short iron second shot. But just the trouble in this hole is like right where driver would be landing. We kind of go, yeah, right at that College. directional marker. That was a beautiful swing, beautiful shot. All right. Uh, two iron here. I'm gonna try and go right at the directional pull. It gives me margin on both sides. Probably try and draw it a little bit off of that. Downwind, uh, pins just in the middle of the green, so no advantage on either side from here. So just normal swing two iron. 
off that directional marker. That's gonna be on the right edge of the fairway. I think that should be fine, but it's a little right of where I wanted to go. All right, little, uh, little push with the two iron there. First little chink in the armor. Downwind, we'll see, it'll be close. There's some trouble over there. Um, JT's right down the middle, so again, not to beat the point down, but three hour drive, working on some swing changes. I think he's gonna probably start kicking it on after a couple holes. So we're trying to take advantage, um, take advantage here early. What do you got? 95. 195. Pins in the middle. Middle pin. Just, just kind of like up on the green with a putt here. Yeah. Good backswing, a little skinny, a little cutty. Might be a little short uh, right. That's it's up there. About hole high, right just side. right of the green. No good. Good backswing, you gotta still like swing all the way through to your finish. You're doing that like, remember we talked about you yeah. swing half the ballers through it? All right. That finish position was you trying to like make a finish. Middle hole. So we're fine, flirting with danger. Not by much. We're a little bit down off the left. Should be down off the left. It's just off the left. So my, I got a perfect lie. I think we got a little wind with us down off the left. But I'm gonna just hit a smooth nine iron. My nine iron's 153. That's like the exact yardage. I do think the wind and that lie is gonna go a little bit farther. But I don't think it justifies a huge change in club. So we're gonna go. We're gonna probably go 10 feet left of the pin, right at the number and just try and give ourselves a look here at birdie. There's a little more room there, it looks like. I can't see the pan, I think it's right over that, yeah. Nice shot. Thanks. So I think we're a little short left, maybe 30, 40 feet. Not great, not terrible, but we're putting. All right, so JT, I thought he was short, he's actually pin high. I'm a little farther than I thought, maybe same kind of putt, 13 feet. So JT, what club you got there? Same I got a 60. 60. Yeah. So JT's got the whole green door, pretty easy chip shot. That's one that you could, could, could be holdable. I hate to put that in the universe, but could be holdable. Good shot. Thanks. So same thing. Take the line, trust the line, start it on line, try and scare the hole. Oh yeah. Oh, you see that kind of wiggle down at the hole there. That took a weird little wobble. Yeah, it took a weird wobble. I didn't quite hit it hard enough, so I think it wasn't going in either way. But I definitely kicked left a little by the hole there. All right, uh, three up through four. Honestly, a good par hole. Yeah. Like we'll take par on that hole every time. So let's move on to the next one. All right, <laughs> hole five, driver, um, par five, 600 yards. This is like driver, five iron wedge hole. So put a good drive on it. Can we see rip? See what you got here, JT, yep. All right, let's rip. Right over this worm in front of my ball. Hang on. All right. No, nah, yours should be good. That should be fine. I'm gonna go at that same line, bush out to the right. Right side of the fairway. Should be Boom. Yep. Thanks. I mean, I hit that drive about as good as I could. And I probably am still 300. Maybe more. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. 308. 308. So 600. What's 600 minus 308? 292. <laughs> 292. Maybe into a little bit of a breeze, but that's kind of it's about as far as I'm hitting it. So 300 uphill I don't have. So the question now becomes like, what's the layup shot? So there's a bunker up there I want to stay short of, and there's stuff left. I mean, you got to hit a good shot here. 
JT's probably got 350 in, so he's probably hitting like a something that's gonna leave himself between 100 and 130. All right, so I'm just gonna hit a five iron here. This will probably leave me like a 120 yard shot is kind of what I'm thinking. I'm gonna go right at that bunker, kind of let it draw off that bunker a touch. Should be good, I think. Curved a little more left than I was hoping for, but we're good in the fairway. On long, you know, par fives or long par fours, if you're laying up, it's good to have a club, a club you feel confident with. So like for me, I hit my five iron, probably 200, smooth full. So like when in doubt, especially if there's trouble, nice to have a club like that that you want to build in through practice, obviously. Yeah, this is a tough pull too. Yeah, yeah. Like, Especially all the way back. Yeah, you have to hit a good drive and a good second and a good third. Yep. Yeah, make sure you're in your money. Good looking shot. Nice. Oh, good shot. Thank you. 110 max. Wind off the right. So you can get it back there by the pin. Make sure I turn through this one. Yeah. Are you are you almost going at that like tree or the yeah, hazard the, marker? The, the tree. Yeah. Right at, yep. Let the wind bring it in. Oh, gosh. chunky. Go, 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 go. All right. Little chunky monkey. All right. So I got 103 yards. Pins back. Wind is off the right. Um, probably 105 to the back edge. So I'm going to kind of play it right at 100 and just be OK being like 10 feet short. 100 yard shot. Sand wedge. It's really bad. Cool hook. Yeah, this is still a hole. It's 600 yard par five uphill into the window. Though. It's still a hole I'd take par in every time. You know, so I'm probably 35 feet there. But when you hit the drive how you want, you hit the second shot how you want, you have that sort of shot. Even though it's still a good par, you'd like to, you know, you'd like to think I could execute a little better than that. So we got some work to do with the wedges. That's the theme. I'm getting so far. It's out there a little uphill, yeah. Okay. I actually think too, almost right where her feet are is probably perfect. I think it nets out uphill a little bit. I think yeah, it's her right toe. It's no more, no, no more than that. Right toe. Yeah. Yeah, I think like if you measured the hole in you, it's like the hole's a little higher. You're right, not by a ton. But like you know how even it, but yeah. it goes like don't. I, I don't think the downhill offsets the uphill as much. Okay. But that is just purely opinion. No research studies back in that. <laughs> Ball markings. Turn. Turn. Mm. Pretty good putt there, dude. I think mm. that's good. That should be a good for par. Thank you. You're generous, three up. I give that to you. Thank I'm gonna you. leave the pin in here, JT. Okay. This will be all in all, like this is, you take a par on this hole. Yeah. Not the shots maybe wanted to hit, but. You take like three good shots on this. Yeah. To make a birdie, we'd like to execute a little better than we did on those third ones, but. Yeah. Still pretty good. All right, Mayor, maybe 30 feet uphill. I got this, I got this pretty, pretty straight, really. And it goes a little left early and then kind of back up right by the hole. So this is just get the speed right.
Broke more than I thought. Nice putt. Thanks. All right, par par. Not bad. Yeah, it's, it's not enough. So I think we're what? Still stay three up? Yep, three, three up. up through five? Through six? <laughs> six. Work it. Find a spot there. Go far enough. Go, 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 go. All right, we'll see. All depends on how far it went. You had a really good drive with the wind. We might have like 75. Oh, OK. Ah, front pin, maybe maybe 55. OK. So right why don't you just get one out there, big boy? Right at that far right. <laughs> far right palm tree. That was a good swing. Get down a little. Sit a little. Oh, I uh, might be okay. That was your best. I mean, you hit that solid. Yeah. I know how to play from trees. I can't play from water, though. You know? Four holes. Jump Ray, this is a big shot for you. No pressure. Nope. Pressure something you just put in your car and your tires. <laughs> Hang on, let's see if we can that up. Uh, Not looking good. Uh, get real lucky here. Dude, Florida, Florida golf, man. 45 cross. This is one I wonder if I could fly like a low 50 into the hill. Looks like it's kind of uphill into the whole green. And kind of pitch up to the pin, have a downhill putt. Getting above this hole is a tough putt. So I kind of like, kind of like landing this. Yeah, I don't know if it'll skip up if I hit it 50. Kind of a low 50. If it lands 50, bounces up to the hole. Could work. I'm gonna have to make something happen here. I hope you got those cameras ready. <laughs> I'm either right behind it or I can go between them or I can go a little left, but it looks like I'm gonna be, I think I gotta go between them. With a draw. So we have 55 uphill, pins in the front, it's 45 front. So I'm gonna try and hit a low shot that lands about 50 and kind of skips up to the pin, but still stays slightly short because I want to putt uphill. Um, getting past this pin with a downhill putt's not the idea. So this for me is a 56 degree sand wedge, 50 to 55. Not often does the, you know, you always pull off exactly what your eyes are seeing, but that's one of those beautiful times where we did. Look at that. How far do you got? 55. Wow. Yeah, I mean, all right, where we, where we drew it up. This hole is not, this isn't as easy of a shot now that your ball's right there. Let's see what you can do here. I think this is like the Y, so the Y makes it a little tougher, a little more difficult. More difficult oh, sit, 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 Check. sit. Check. Come on back. Uh, Come on back. Still pretty good. good. Pretty good to get through there, dude. Uh, mm, thanks. Pretty good. You don't have to lie. It's a little deep, but it was the right idea. That's, How about that yeah, gap? That's what huh? you say when a guy hit a bad shot. <laughs> right <more>. idea. <laughs> good speed. It was, the right, like, it was the right idea. Good trajectory. You just flew it a little too far. Yeah, true. I guess we're just staying here. Yeah, we're chilling. <laughs> No, I didn't, I didn't plan that off the tee to be 50 yards. You know, I hit a good drive and up 50, but that's a nice one, too, if you can kind of get to those wedge distances. Like, I'm very comfortable with that 50-yard hip high, hip high versus, like, 65 yards, per se. So knowing your wedge distances and getting to those, getting to those help. And I was thinking about low 50-yard shots I hit in the past and trying to recreate that. Just got to be conscious of the speed here. This would be a, a devastating make. 
you want to try and make it like die in pace? Left hand low. You've been doing that all day. That's gone. Oh, I smoked it. Had to give it a run. Good putt, buddy. Thanks. Good. All right, Eric. Finish it off. Right, right where we wanted it to be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just had an inside left. Uh. All right, so technically speaking, that's our match there. Um, four up with three to go. I think I'm three under. JT's maybe even-ish, one over, something like that. But we'll play the rest of the holes here. We'll keep a running tally through nine. See, uh, see what we can do the rest of the way. That's a good looking shot. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're on number seven, part three. We're gonna, we're gonna play the match out here. So we'll, we'll play and just keep a running tally and uh, see where we end up after nine. Yeah, this is 213 into the wind. Pins middle, maybe just back of middle. So I kinda, I think there's just a smooth four, 224 iron. Oh, brother. Did not hit that good. Go. Wow. I hit that solid too, Mayor. That just got on the front. Guess he's in the bunker, probably 20, 25 yards. Got to fly this pretty far if I want to get it close. Spin, spin. Oh, go in. Oh, Ooh, very nice. Good shot, dude. Thanks. Expert level shot. A little low and a little short. I think we are just kind of right center here. It broke right. Rush the first one, miss the second one. Hate to see it. You do hate to see that, that's tough. Yes sir, good par. All right, JT gets one back. We are back to three up, two to go. <laughs> Three up, two to go. I think that's back to two under. Kind of a sloppy bogey there. 294 to those trees to where like that juts in there on the left. So, so it's probably driver. Off the left? Yeah, you could definitely hit driver. Yeah. I always try to shoot like, you got to shoot your, your width there. Like yeah. all the way on the left. Yeah, it gets a little into the wind too. I mean, yeah. well. Wind off the left and a little into. I guess driver's four. If I hit it right at that and, I, and it's up against the wind, it's not going to get there. And, and then you got all the room to the right. Yeah. All right, talk me into it. Yeah. We were thinking maybe two iron here, but we'll go driver. Pedal to the metal, Eric. Shoot 65 right. today. Let's go. A little lack of concentration on that last one. Keep cutting, and it's going to be perfect. Oh yeah, good shot. Yep, good shot. I'm gonna go just right of that, I believe. That's it. 
I think it's soft enough where that's okay. A little pulley. Little pulley. All right, so a little sloppy on that last hole. Um, I hit a four iron, which I thought was gonna be really good. Came up short. This is a scenario that's a good learning thing for me too. There's people behind us, and so I rushed myself, which is so silly. Like I've been playing forever, I shouldn't do that. And then I misread the misread the last putt, so I make a bogey. So um, hit a decent drive here. I think we're gonna be okay just up the left. We want to put a good one, a good bounce back here. Put this one close. Give ourselves a a good look at birdie. I gotta just try and get this like back up to the corner and try and wedge it up. One thirty-six. I just want to see if I can punch something up to like carpet side, really. This is one too when you're punching out. It's like don't try and get too fancy. Just a lot of guys try and add too much speed here. Just nice and mellow. Get it out to the car pass sign. Not trying to hit like a hero shot. Just give ourselves a chance to make par the hard way. Hope I don't hit this thing. How far is it? You got a number? Let's see. If I hit it there. Okay. Okay. Oh, brother. Right there. Oh, what a shot. Wow. Thank you. Is that like close? Yeah, it's like 10 feet. Shot of the year. Are you going to win go. these last three holes? I'm going to win Let's one up. Let's go. So 87 pins back, probably got 90 to the back, a little uphill. I'm going to try and land at 85, which should be kind of hands just under straight, kind of armpit, armpit. Could be good. Should be pretty good. Thanks. See if we can make par the hard way. That just like, I just pulled that driver enough where it just got into that stuff. I mean, it's just a bad tee shot. JT for birdie, I had to punch out, so I'm putting par. He had 117 yards, literally behind a bush. Phil Mickelson's a punch hook to like 15 feet up the hill. Leaves himself a perfect uphill putt. A little right, stay oh, up. Oh, it goes right. Yeah, a little right. Still a good par. All right, I gotta make this to stay three up. Change my line right at the end to more break, and I shouldn't have. My first read was perfect. Oh. Gosh, first read was good. All right, so bogey, bogey for the kid, leaking oil. Quickly back to one under. Two up with one to play. Oh, man. We're all of a sudden. Three under was looking like five under for nine, and now we're just trying to break par. Hello, car cam. We're going to talk about that punch out I just had. Um, it's off the tee. You hit it, what, like 300? Yeah, and I needed it. 298 would have been... Perfect would have shot. been perfect, but I hit a 300, so I was, I got down real low, and I noticed that if I went just right of the bush, it would have been, uh, it would have been fine, so took out the six iron, I hooded it, and it was 115, and I figured I'd play it, I hit a 50-yard shot, what would be normally with my sandwich, 50 yards, but with the six iron, it should go about 120, and it basically did, so, missed the putt, <laughs> Just pick a good target here. That little leaf on that palm tree out there. Should be fine. fine. See where that lands. 
Yeah, it's fine. There's no way I'm hitting it too far. That is fine. I'm gonna try and hit the same shot he just hit, a little bit left of that at that kind of far left tree. That gives me the maximum distance to miss on both sides. Two iron, normal, normal swing. Nice ball. Thanks. We're wedging. 88 into the breeze. That same yards as the last hole, so kind of same uh, armpit to armpit swing. Keep it a little low into the wind. Pins in the front. Got room past it. Can fly it all the way to the pin. See if we can put a good wedge shot up. I'm thinking about the last hole that I hit it close. I'm thinking about number um, that 50 yard shot I hit close. I put a wedge shot up there. I'm not get ahead of myself and think about anything else other than that. Be a 56 kind of armpit to armpit, shoulder to shoulder. JT's probably got 100, 110, 115 pins front right. So he's got a good opportunity to stick this one close as well. Good flight, that looks long to me. Be nice. It's going right on it. Spin back. Go, Go in. in. Oh. oh, very nice. So JT just hit it to a foot. So I gotta get this one. Good shot, dude, I thought that was deep. Thanks. All right, 90 yards. Same as that last hole, kind of shoulder to shoulder. Oh, short. That's gonna probably be 20, 30 feet short. Spin back. Oh, I look good right away, huh? Good. Yeah, the line was good. I didn't hit it far enough. All right, boys, let's go finish it off. <laughs> Great shot, dude. Thanks. Beautiful. Beautiful birdie. So JT finishes strong here, gets back. Do you have a T in your thing? I do, finally. Yeah, we, I gotta reload here after nine, thanks. JT makes birdie, finishes, was that even for the nine? Even for the nine. So I got a two putt. This oh, you want to swing that tee back? Yeah, I got a two putt this to beat his score. Chris, why don't you come up? JT with the late though. See, that's that was what I was saying. It's like three hour drive, no warm up. Now he's kicking in a little. Chris just with the aggressive birdie attempt. Now I gotta like get serious here because this match got tight quick. I got it going this way up the hill, probably about to right here. That's good speed. This is the same thing. Trust the line, scare the hole. Not a great distance from 90 yards, but if it goes in, it's all good. Trust the line. Trust the line, but needed more break. All right, par on the last. So a good nine. JT, good plan, dude. Thanks for it again on the back, man. All right, guys, so I lost that hole. So I ended up only winning by one, right? One, one up, goodness gracious. So four up win all the way down to one up. JT shoots even, I was one under. Uh, that's going to be this week's video. JT, appreciate you coming out. Thank you. Thank you guys for watching. All Damn, right. you're coming back strong there at the end, dude. You know. Holy moly.